Dear Watchman in South Africa, this is a, a very strategic and important message. It's part of two messages. Um, this is the first message and we'll be releasing another message in the next few days. Uh, this is Warren David Horek and I'm releasing this message on behalf of myself and my wife Miriam Horek. Uh, it's a message that's been on our hearts for, for, for quite a while now. and In fact, it's been building with me for many, many years. But it's now time to release uh, this very most important message. Um, for the body of Christ but specifically this message is directed to the watchmen in South Africa and the Lord warned Miriam in, in a word um, in the beginning of 2019 and he, and he said to her many things will be happening this year that's 2019 but he said do not be distracted and that's the warning do not be distracted many things will be happening do not be distracted by the many things that are happening in our nation right now. Some of them are even good things. And remember, good is always the enemy of best. We need the perfect will of God in South Africa. We need the perfect will of God in our lives to accomplish the, the kingdom of God. Not the acceptable, not the good will of God, but the perfect will of God. We need to go and hit the bullseye in South Africa. We need to hit the target in South Africa. We need laser sharp focus. So there are many WhatsApps and messages going all around and battles going on. The question for you, Watchman, that you need to go to the Holy Spirit and ask and say, what, where and on what do you focus right now? There are many, we got to do this and this project and this, and unlike I'm talking about good things, not just evil things that are happening, but good things. So where do you focus your prayers? What do you focus on right now? And so we really need to hear the Lord at this time. And uh, so Miriam and I prayed over this and, and we asked the Lord, what, what should be the focus? What, what is our focus right now as we're moving? And in this critical time, we need to hear what is the Lord saying? So we're talking to the watchmen, to the warriors right now. And, and we would just like to just give you this word. And, and, uh, and the first thing he, he showed us is that in South Africa, we are, we are fighting a spirit of death, which is empowered by all the bloodshed, especially the bloodshed coming through the, the bloodshed, the blood sacrifices coming through abortion. And we as a nation need to choose life. South Africa, we need to choose life. He says, I set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life. He's, he's telling this nation to choose life, but we as the watchmen need to choose life first. So we, if we choose life, we need to fight violently against the spirit of death, the spirit of abortion in this nation. So our main focus in South Africa, our main focus in South Africa uh, as intercessors should be two specific things. We have two, two specific objectives in this battle right now. And our two greatest objectives as intercessors is first of all to expose, disarm and destroy destroy the spirit of abortion in South Africa. I've, I've attached on the, on, the, on, the, on the message, so you need to go and read the article on our website, uh, which is fatherslove.co.za. It's the article there on, on, on what I call revival versus abortion. I put a link, uh, so please just um, click on the link if you've got the, hopefully you've got the, um, the, 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 the written version of this, of this word, and in there there is the, the, the exact link to this article. But in there, there's, a, there's an awesome word by Victoria Boyson um, uh, from America. And um, the Lord gave in 2016 and, and giving a whole revelation of how the Spirit works and what the strategy is for the intercessors. I believe this is the strategy that we need to follow now in South Africa. I've laid it out. I've got prayer points, everything like that below as well. So you want to know what to pray, exactly what to focus on right now as an intercessor. And I can say, please share this with other watchmen and warriors, those that are interceding for this country, um, and that they can go and take this word to the Holy Spirit, test the word. Obviously, we need to test the word. Um, and uh, you know we need to focus on what the Lord is saying. So the, the two greatest objectives in, in, in this battle is, first of all, expose, disarm, and destroy the spirit of abortion because the spirit of abortion is resisting the revival, the promised revival. The second thing is to pray into and release the spirit of revival starting in families, ministries, churches, businesses, businesses NGOs, even the government. The Lord is going to release revival in every aspect of society. So we need to pray into this and we need to release the spirit of revival. We need to access revival for ourselves, intercessors. We need to every day surrender and, and, and repent and ask the Lord to pour out revival in our own hearts, in our own families, so that we can build the family altars and the family pre-altars. All right, so everything else is a distraction. 
If we're not focusing on those two things, everything else is a distraction. We need to focus on those two main things as watchmen. First of all, to come against the spirit of abortion. And secondly, to continue to pray into and to release the spirit of revival. So what is the distraction? Well, corruption, politics, crime, racism, violence, same-sex marriage, the land issue, poverty, socialism, Eskim, etc. All of these are, 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 are attacks to hide the strong man, which is abortion, which you will see in the in the in this awesome vision from Victoria Boyson who's a prophet in in the United States I've been following her for many years I think more than 20 years and she's like spot on and she's really she's really spot on and she really hears from the Lord these spirits and battles are sent to distract us from focusing on the Lord wants us to focus on in order to see South Africa saved and transformed from the darkness through the revival that God has promised. So so we desperately, South Africa, we desperately need revival. It's the only way that South Africa is going to change. So the strong man we need to focus on now is not politics. And I know God has called uh, Christian politicians and He's called people into, but there's a lot of Christian politi- uh, political parties. I'm not against that. I'm, I'm just saying to you, the focus right now is not politics. The thing that's going to change this country is not Christian politics. It is revival. This is such an important thing. So that so the, these um, spirits, the political spirits, the distractions are dis, are distracting us from the real battle. And the real battle is about abortion. The real battle is about revival. And the spirit of abortion wants to abort revival in South Africa. So we need to get our focus off of what the devil is trying to get us to pray over and focus exactly on what God wants us to pray for. And so the spirit of abortion is being protected by these political spirits. And so what happens is the spirit of abortion is the linchpin of Satan in this country that uh, that opens the gates of hell for all the other corruption, all the other evil that's flowing. It's the linchpin. It's the strong man. So the, the Bible clearly teaches us you must first bind the strong man. And if you really want... To see something happen, you've got to bind the strong man so you can go and take all the goods of the strong man in the house. And the strong man in this house is the spirit of death that is empowered by all the blood sacrifices and murders and everything. But specifically abortion since 1994 that we signed it into law. Thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of innocent babies have been murdered. And unfortunately now Christians operating with the chameleon spirit together with the political spirit are deceiving others to vote for parties um, that they do not uh, stand against abortion. You, as a Christian, you cannot be voting for a party that is actually supporting abortion or not opposing abortion. So, th- so those that are uh, su- uh, voting for these parties are supporting murder in this nation. So uh, th- this is the power of the spirit of abortion. It is so, uh, what is it's done, what these political spirits have done to hide the spirit of abortion is actually saying, no, there's, we need a strong opposition, we need all these kinds of, we need to focus on the economy, we need to focus on Eskim and corruption and those things, yes, are evil. No, but the, the linchpin that it's been hidden is abortion. And if we tackle that thing, focus on that thing, bind that thing, overcome that spirit, the wheel th- is we'll see like the dominoes falling because that thing is holding in place all the other uh, principalities and powers. That thing is the blood sacrifices is what's bringing the blood guilt on South Africa. It's keeping us guilty before the throne of God. So when we tackle that thing, God is before us and He's the one that is directly Directing the strategy. This is not our strategy at all. I believe this is the Lord's strategy. Please go and test it. Go and read the whole word. It's quite a long word. Go and read it. Process it. Pray into it. And I, I, I just trust that the Lord will show you uh, what your part in, in this battle is. So we need to learn to discern and we need to and when the spirit of abortion is being broken and exposed, many Christians will suddenly start to vote for the biblical parties because their eyes are open and people are voting now in the millions. Christians are voting in the millions for the wrong parties. Because those parties are not against abortion. So we, we need to find out what party to vote for. And, and God is watching what party you vote for. So we need to vote uh, according to r- life. And we need to uh, vote according to righteous. We cannot be sort of supporting um, murder in any way, shape or form. And that's what released the spirit of death of our nation. So this is a, a very important thing. Having a new government will not change the evil hearts of South Africa. Now, I'm not against godly government. I'm not against Christian parties. But what I'm saying is wicked people vote for wicked people. So South Africa's problem is not politics. It's a wicked heart. Godly people vote for righteousness and justice. So what we need in South Africa is 
a new heart. South Africa needs um, revival. And as long as revival tarries, we will not see a godly government arise in South Africa. So the change that we desperately need in South Africa will not come through politics. Even a godly party will not be able to stop the wickedness in South Africa. Only real Holy Ghost revival, Holy Spirit revival will be able to change the heart of South Africa. So that we need the first things first. We need intercessors. We need to focus on what's the critical thing. Abortion. And secondly, revival. Only revival is able to give South Africa a new heart through the raw power of the Holy Spirit, conviction and grace. True repentance can only come through God. And we, we need godly sorrow at this time in South Africa. We need an outpouring of godly sorrow where people will weep in the streets. We will weep in the, in the parliaments. They will weep, weep in their business because of our sin and because of our unbelief because of our racism because of our anger and God is going to come into this nation and starting in Cape Town pour our His Spirit in every area of society and this is the revival that He has promised for over 100 years now and we must not lose focus we must not allow the enemy to delay revival any longer and He has the question can a nation be born in a day? the answer is yes God can actually change His nation in a day. God can pour out His Spirit in a day and suddenly people can start to repent. And when they repent and get a new heart, yeah, they will immediately st- vote with their conscience. They will vote for other political parties. They will vote for righteous parties because their heart is changed. So we cannot just think, okay, we got Christian parties, everyone's going to vote for them. No, people will not vote for them so, because their hearts are wicked. And if you think abortion's okay, if you think it's okay uh, uh, you know, to abort a baby... You will, you will vote for abortion. You will vote. And this is the problem. People are not seeing that they're voting for murder. And when God, through His Spirit, opens people's eyes, they will see that they're voting for murder. And so we need to bind the strong man. So I ask you, please share this with, with, with other watchmen all around the country and even outside the country. We in this country need to stand together and we need to come against abortion and we need to, to, to pray into and release the spirit of revival because revival is the only thing. It's God's plan to save this nation from bloodshed. It is God's, God showed us and his God, God has shown different prophets that the answer to the, the plan of Satan for, and the Satan's plan is a civil the war. God's plan is revival. There's no other plan. It's not God's plan is not a political a new political move. It is actually revival and from revival we will see God raise up righteous leaders. And that's the key. Focus now on abortion and focus on revival. Everything else will follow if we seek the first things first. And we say first things first because the enemy through the political spirit is trying to distract you and is trying to distract your prayers, trying to get you off on a tangent. And God is actually wanting you to stay focused at this point in time. And we, we have a we have a clear call to action and a strategy to overcome abortion in South Africa. So I've put this at the bottom of the, of the written um, copy of this that should follow this uh, this voice note. or the uh, And uh, it's actually on our website as well, fatherslove.co.za. And so the first step is a strategy to overcome abortion. We must command the political spirits to move aside and tell abortion to stand alone. Okay, you can see that in the vision. All right, and so here's the quote from the prophetic word from uh, by Victoria. Okay, for the father had decreed that abortion must be left on its own and its disguise must be removed. God in heaven had declared that abortion would be seen for what it was and not hidden or protected. So this is our prayer right now as watchmen. You can pray this with me and spread this prayer. The watchman's prayer and declaration against abortion in South Africa is this. Father, you have decreed in heaven that the spirit of abortion must stand alone and its disguise must be removed. You declared that abortion must be seen for what it is and not hidden and protected. Father, we ask you to cover us now in the blood of Jesus and step into and we step into the blood dimension. We as the watchmen in South Africa agree for your declaration with your declaration in heaven and we say it must be done as you have declared let your kingdom come let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven father we ask in jesus name that you will cause the spirit of abortion to be left on its own in south africa and that you would remove its disguise and that all of south africa's eyes will be opened and see abortion for what it is and that it will no longer be hidden or protected in the name of jesus 
We ask you for this, Father, right now. In Jesus' name, right now. We now command the spirit of the political, the, the, the spirit of the political spirits to stand aside. Right now, in the name of Jesus. We command them to stand aside in Jesus' name. We command them to stand aside. And co- we command the spirit of abortion to stand alone in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's part one. So the second part is we, the prayer to, to call and protect and, 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 and nurture and pray over His revival in South Africa. So this is the prayer for revival in South Africa. Father, will you release revival now in South Africa, starting in every family, in every home, in Jesus' name. May you, may you pour out your spirit of revival in Cape Town into each of the seven cities of revival across South Africa and every town and city in South Africa and right through Africa. Africa in Jesus' name. Help each family build a prayer, a prayer altar, Father, in the name of Jesus. Help them to build their prayer altars and make each family one in the spirit at, at the family altar. And Lord, help each family climb the staircase of surrender into the blood of Jesus so that you might release the spirit of revival from day to day, that the spirit of revival will increase and increase and increase until there's a flood of your spirit in this nation. Pour out a spirit of repentance and godly sorrow and Father's unconditional love all over this nation starting in Cape Town and we just say now come now Holy Spirit come just welcome Holy Spirit into your your cities into your communities into your streets into your schools your businesses wherever you are and we now this is a declaration of revival and our our, our, just say this I now release the spirit of revival all over South Africa in every house every street every business every office every school right now every building every field every river and sea from north to south and east to west in Jesus name and I now declare prepare ye the way of the Lord prepare ye the way prepare ye the way amen and amen and we and he says can a nation be born in a day and we say yes Lord and that I'm reading now from Isaiah 66 8 to 11 I'm just declaring this as a declaration over South Africa who has heard such a thing who has seen such a such things shall the earth be made to give birth in one day or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she gave birth to her children. Shall I bring to the time of birth and not cause delivery, says the Lord? Shall I, shall I who cause delivery shut up the womb, says God, your God? Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad with her. All you who love her, rejoice for joy with her. All you who mourn for her, that you may feed and be satisfied with the consolation of her bosom, that you may drink deeply and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. And we thank you that the glory of God will cover South Africa, will cover this continent, will cover Jerusalem and across the world. Your greatest revival is about to be released like we've never seen before in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this now in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. We love you. Lots of love from uh, Warren and Miriam and the team here. We just bless you and love you in Jesus' name. Amen.